I started coming to Ironstone through a program that the VA offered. When I came to Ironstone, I was somewhat isolated. My husband had been ill also, and I was a caretaker for almost 10 years. So I really didn't have much socialization. Coming to the farm here, they've just been so fabulous. They're welcoming, just a match made in heaven. And of course, the horses are the stars. My anxiety just disappears when I'm here. I was a little bit, not intimidated, but a little bit timid, I would say. And it just kind of helped me to gain confidence in working with them. Them being such a large, large animal and me being not really the biggest thing <laughs> in their world. Memorable moments here, honestly, all of them, from just doing some of the sensitivity training with the horses to grooming them, learning about their care, their needs. I don't have one favorite part or another. He had his injury in 1991 in the Persian Gulf. And, you know, since then he's had numerous surgeries, numerous treatments, double amputee. And this is one positive thing that he has to look forward to. I mean, the Royal Page, um, live in New Hampshire, and, and I was in the uh, Army and the National Guard. I was over in the Persian Gulf. I served for 15 years. It is calming to be around the horses and stuff. And it does help my demeanor. I, I rode a horse before my right leg was amputated. My right leg just was amputated last year, not last two years ago now, just after Christmas. And so I'd ridden a horse before that, but I never thought I could ride a horse as a double amputee, you know? I felt I made a few, new, few good, few new friends, and that's always a plus, you know? I have a cousin that has had horses since she was eight. And I called her and told her, and she watched, she watched me on the, you know, she saw me in the picture, she saw me in the video. She said, boy, she did it while I was on the phone with her. Boy, I'm really proud of you, Roy, you know? I would tell anybody, amputee or non-amputee, that you, you're gonna gain more self-confidence self to be around the horses. My name is uh, Barry Boykins and I served in uh, the U.S. Army, 82nd Airborne Division, Fort Bragg, North Carolina. When I first got out of service, you know, I thought that I was gonna be able to just step right back into civilian life, pick up where I left off. <laughs> oh, was I wrong? <laughs> when I got out, I knew something wasn't correct. I just didn't know what it was, but I couldn't put my finger on what exactly was wrong. I didn't, didn't fit in. I couldn't get myself together. I, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't work, went to the VA hospital, and this was before they even named it PTSD. They, they called it just depression or whatever. And I said, I'm not feeling right, and I need some help. And they told me, you're not really depressed, because if you were depressed, you'd be doing A, B, C, and D. Well, it didn't work that way for me, but I was still depressed. I knew something wasn't right. Fast forward to here, fast forward, and a friend of mine told me about Ironstone Farm. They said that, you know, for veterans, who have PTSD. I, I felt really relaxed around horses and I like animals. So I said, let me try Ironstone Farm. I went up here, you know, the staff was great, you know, the people that helped you out. And it really opened me up, man, to, you know, make me feel better. And uh, after the first two times, uh, I was sold. <laughs> so this is for me, I want to try this, you know, because I'm feeling better, stress less. Uh, my fuse was a little bit longer. You know, a lot of things didn't piss me off as quickly being around the animals, you know, they kind of calm you down. Difficult when you are in the military, you are assigned a family. I mean, you leave your birth family and in the Air Force, they give you some people to live with. They give you people to work with. You don't have to try to look for a family. And uh, it's hard when you get out because you don't have that anymore. Biggest challenge I was facing when I came here was that I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis and I didn't really know what that was gonna entail. It involves walking, standing, and not falling over. And the horses are great because I have no problem sitting. When you start going through the challenge of multiple sclerosis, you don't really know what's gonna happen. There's so many different types of that disease that it affects different people different ways. You just have to learn how to, how to adapt to your body the way it's gonna be now. The horses have taught me confidence. They've taught me to like trust that what I ask them 
to do, they will do. They listen. It also, you feel stronger when you ride a horse. You feel bigger because you're taller, but um, you also have a friend in the horse. You sort of bond with them a little bit. I look forward to coming here every week. This is the big part of my week to come here and, and be around the people and the horses. Um, I am so thankful for this opportunity. What I would tell another veteran who was thinking about joining the program, wondering if it was the correct fit, is try it. You will love it. It's just, you get to be with other veterans and you get to be with horses and it's outside in this beautiful place. So give it a try.